And if we do look at the very quickly, the update here, we do have this update, which is Ethereum's Denkun upgrade goes live on their uh, second test net. Um, and then uh, the, the upgrade should go live at the end of this month. So at the end of the day, how does that, that play into this? Well, if we get Bitcoin holding up here above $38,000, $39,000, then Ethereum during that period of time gets um, basically their upgrade for, for that, that Denkun upgrade there. That holds Ethereum's price up here above maybe 2200 or 2150 uh, on the weekly basis. And so Ethereum just uh, dumps less. And if we look at the very, very quickly, the ETH to Bitcoin chart, we can see uh, if it loads with, it doesn't load with that, that is what it is. Um, but basically, if we turn on the buy sell signals, even though it had been in a downtrend here, we pull that across. Basically, it has gotten rejected here. Uh, it has the double buy signals around this area. So ETH might just be holding up relative to Bitcoin. Then after that upgrade, might start, might start holding up better. As people start chanting May 23rd, May 23rd, May 23rd, then you can start seeing ETH outpace Bitcoin. And that's where that flip starts coming in. So um, yeah, good time to be buying some ETH here. It's still very, very cheap. Uh, it's under... Uh, twenty four hundred, twenty five hundred dollars. As long as it's under twenty four hundred, because that's going to become the new support area. Um, if it gets under twenty three hundred, even better. Um, but around this area is kind of like your your next buying basin. So um, you know, go ahead and do that.